um, this is my last video for the day. I'm about to go out, take care of some business, but I think I need to um, share this video with a whole with with um, with people because a lot of people are going around calling people alcoholics that don't have a. Um, I'm a licensed practical nurse by trade, so I know the difference, and I fall in this category. So, so I think I need to um shed a little light. I know a lot about this subject, so I need to sh share a little light on this situation. People going around calling Earl Spence alcoholics, going around calling other people alcoholics, but there's a difference between. Problem drinking, which I think Spence is a problem drinker. That what I was. I was a problem drinker. I had problems. I had I had two DWIs from drinking. I was a problem drinker. So I know a whole lot about this subject. So let me shed a little light on this subject: problem drinker versus an al alcoholism. My father was a was an alcoholic. My grandfather was an alcoholic. I was a problem drinker. I go days without drinking, weeks without drinking, months without drinking, years without drinking. But when I drink, I, I drink, I got get drunk, and a whole lot of things happen. And I believe that's what Earl Spence fall under. But some people don't know the difference. And so let me show you the difference. This is an article. Okay. There are two types of people that have an unhealthy relationship with Alcohol, problem drinkers, and alcoholics. Although it may seem like these two categories are one and the same, there are some distinct differences between them. This article will help you learn what the difference are between problem drinkers and alcoholics and how you can help a loved one who has suffered from an unhealthy relationship with alcohol. What is the difference between problem drinking and alcoholism? Alcoholics are addicted to alcohol. They are physically and mentally dependent on it. That's when you get up in the morning, you start the shaking, you go through withdrawals, DTs, delirium tremors if you don't get a drink. Just like a um, person who is addicted to opium. Will go have withdrawals if they don't get the opium in their system. Their body will start craving for it and your body will start breaking down. So here it goes. They are physically and mentally dependent on it. Alcohol is find it hard not to drink and struggles with dependency every day. Alcoholics can achieve sobriety but they will always be an alcoholic and at risk for for relapse they will often relapse after just one drink no matter how long they have been sober problem drinkers there's a difference here you go problem drinkers are not physically dependent on alcohol they can go days that's myself weeks or months without drinks if they want to, if if they abstain, they will not have detox symptoms. They may drink a lot or they may drink occasionally. The issue problem drinkers have is that they, that when they do drink, it causes an issue in their life or in the life of someone they, they know. They may say, Hold on, say and do things that hurt others or themselves. Drinking is not a, a problem for them, for these individuals, but it does create problems in their lives. See, drinking problem symptoms. Problem problem drinkers may affect the use, use in negative ways, usually because it caused them to make bad decisions, for example. Okay. So that's where I think Earl Spence is a problem drinker. If he was a problem drinker, he wouldn't have got into this crazy accident and wouldn't have been on camera, caught on camera so many times intoxicated. So, 
That's the difference, man. You can't go around calling people alcoholics. Information. It's the information era. Get more information before you start making videos about people calling people out, calling people names if you don't really know the proper terms. It makes you look it makes it makes you look stupid. That is a big difference. Hit the thumbs up, support the channel, y'all.